Hello students. Today we are going to discuss the geography chapter number 2 atmosphere of West Bengal board class 10. Atmosphere. What is atmosphere? The thick blanket of air surrounding the earth extending to a height of about 10,000 km above its surface. It is known the atmosphere. The atmosphere is dense at the sea level and go upward it becomes thinner. Now composition of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is mainly composed of three elements gases, water vapor and dust particle. The gases are permanent gases like nitrogen, oxygen, argon which form a constant portion of the total atmospheric mass of gases. The main gas of the atmosphere are nitrogen, oxygen, argon. The percentage of nitrogen 78.084 percent, oxygen 20.946 percent, argon 0.934 percent. Number 2 variable gases like water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane and ozone. These variable gases vary time to time due to presence of aerosol. The amount of water vapor varies time to time and place to place in tropical region about 4 percent of the year and poles it is only about 0 0.0006 percent. The amount of carbon dioxide is 0 0.033 percent in the air. Now what is aerosol? Aerosols are very fine solid particles that remain suspended in the air. They act as the base of condensation for rainfall, snowfall, fog, dew, mist, etc. It is also called the dust particle. The aerosol absorb solar radiation and keep the atmosphere warm. They are responsible for reflection of sunlight causing dawn and twilights. They also reflect lights and make the sky appear blue. Layer of atmosphere. The atmosphere can be divided into layers according to chemical composition and variation of temperature. Chemical composition. Chemical composition are divided in two sphere homosphere and heterosphere hemosphere the portion of the gases remain almost constant in this sphere the height up to 100 km now heterosphere heterosphere are divided in four divide division lower layer or molecular nitrogen layer atomic oxygen layer helium layer and hydrogen layer. On the basic of difference in temperature, the atmosphere is divided into a series of concentric layer that is called that is the variation of temperature layer. The variation of temperature layer are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and ionosphere and another, another two are exosphere and magnetosphere. Now troposphere. Troposphere is the lower most layer at the atmosphere about 16 to 18 kilometer height. In polar region it is near about 8 kilometer. Most of the clouds, water vapor, dust particles and atmospheric disturbances are found here. The upper boundary of the troposphere, the temperature does not vary. So it is called tropopause, where pause means stop. 
temperature decreases at the average rate of 6.4 degrees centigrade for every thousand meter ascent. This is called normal lapse rate. Fast moving wind call jet stream are present in this zone. Tropopause is the boundary line of troposphere and stratosphere. Stratosphere. This layer lies above tropopause up to a height of 18 to 50 km. It is free from clouds, water and dust particles. In this layer, temperature remains steady at less than minus 50 degrees centigrade up to about 20 km. About 20 km, the temperature gradually increases due to presence of ozone layer. Ozone absorbs the ultraviolet rays of the sunlight which result in the increase of temperature in this layer. To avoid atmospheric disturbances, jet planes find their safe movement through this layer. This transitional zone that marks the upper limit of stratosphere is called the stratopause. Mesosphere Mesosphere extends up to 80 km above the earth's surface. In this layer, temperature started falling again with height. The temperature become as low as minus 80 degrees centigrade to even 100, minus 120 degrees centigrade. The meteorites that comes toward the earth get born in this layer. The upper limit of mesosphere is called mesospause. The next layer of atmosphere above the mesopause is called the ionosphere. It is also called the thermosphere. Ionization occurs in this layer. So, electrically charged particles of ions and electrons are found here. Ionization properties of this layer radio wave coming from the earth surface are reflected back to the earth. Long distance radio communication is thus possible in this layer. Polar light calls the aurora borealis and aurora australis are developed in this layer. Exosphere. Exosphere is the uppermost layer of the atmosphere exceeding 600 to 1500 km in height. This is an extremely rare field layer which merges into space gradually. Hydrogen and helium gases are found in this layer. All elements also are also ionized in this layer. In this layer, temperature increases with height up to above 1200 degrees centigrade. Magnetosphere. It is the region between Earth's gaseous atmosphere and the magnetic atmosphere. It is a layer that extends beyond 10,000 km the outermost limit of the gaseous atmosphere. The rapidly moving protons originating from the solar and cosmic ray are trapped in magnetosphere in a ring called the Van Allen radiation belt. The outer boundary of magnetosphere is known as the magnetopause. This layer protects life on Earth from ionizing radiation. Importance of ozonosphere and its depletion. Ozonosphere. Ozone is a colorless gas with a strong smell. The highest concentration of ozone lies within the altitude 20 to 25 km in the stratosphere. This zone is called ozonosphere. The or ozone layer, ozonosphere or ozone layer. Density of ozone gas is expressed in doloson unit. Is expressed in du. Density of ozone gas is 250 du nearer equator and 
350 du in the mid latitude and 450 du in the polar regions. Importance of ozonosphere. Number one, it filters the ultraviolet ray that comes from the sun. Number two, it protects the biotic world from danger, damage and disaster. And depletion of ozone layer. Depletion of ozone layer has been caused by natural process, anthropogenic process. Natural process. The natural process of ozone depletion involves conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to nitrous oxide due to solar activity. This mass of nitrous oxide is transported to the stratosphere and deplete ozone layer through photochemical reaction. After natural process, now the anthropogenic process. The CFC, chlorofluorocarbon and halon gases are released during this operation or maintenance of several devices such as air conditioners, refrigerators, spray, can, dip dispenses, etc. These gases deplete the ozone layer. Ozone holes have appeared in the ozone layer over the Arctic and Antarctic region. Causes of ozone depletion Number 1. Ozone depletion increase of temperature as ultraviolet rays will reach the earth's surface easily. Number 2. Global warming will lead to melting of continental glaciers and a consequent rise in the sea level. Number 3. Submerge of coastal lowlands. Number 4. Disturb the whole ecosystem of the biosphere.